Hi guys, Brooklyn, and welcome to my channel. So, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I upload videos twice a week, so on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you so, so much for your good head and support of my channel. And I'm really hoping you enjoy my content. So, today's video is going to be kind of a funny one. <laughs> well, it's kind of a funny, but not really. It's one of them ones. So, it's a story time on the first time that I should be got drunk. I don't know if I'm going to post this or not, but if you see it, I've posted it. So let's get started. So this was back in 2010, 2010, however way you say it. It was Halloween, so October 31st. I was 18. I hadn't just turned 18. I was 18 for like four months because my birthday's in June. And um, obviously I'm 30 now. <laughs> Getting old. But this time I was a wee young 18 year old. So, um, my cousin, I'm going to call her Samantha, her and her husband Tom were having a Halloween party for their kids, they've got like six, six kids, and um, I was invited. So, um, my granny basically said, do you want to go to this Halloween party? I won't say their name. <laughs> Samantha has invited you to the party so i was like yeah might as well go to a party um i had very <laughs> oh my goodness i can't even get words out here i had a pretty <clears throat> there we go again i had a pretty <laughs> shitty week it goes a really really bad week so um obviously back when i was 18 i was a lot more immature didn't really know where i had to know now pretty much and um, so, I was kind of like, like, it's hard to explain, I'll try to explain it. So, the previous week, the week before Halloween, I joined the wee, well, got accepted into a wee dance class, like a dance kind of club for people who have disabilities. And, um, back, I was blended, but back then, I was, like, overweight from a height. I'm only five, one and a half, and I was a size 14. That's not, like, I'm not saying size 14 is bad or anything, but for me, it was too big. Like, every size is different in everyone. And I should be in, like, a size 8. <laughs> That's what I am now. But back then, I was a size 14, because obviously, I had crap during teenage years, and I catch up on you. So, um, I joined, and then this we dance club do residentials well did back in the day i'm not part of it anymore i kind of regret leaving but that'll be another story time or probably not <laughs> but um yeah so basically the do residentials that time we went just in belfast that's where i'm from we're just like said in a hotel because it was a dance club there's members from throughout northern ireland went to it so we all stayed in a hotel, I think it was Day's Hotel, in, it was near Sandy Road, near the town, like that kind of area, but it was called Day's Hotel, I remember. I'm not sure it was still there or not, but it was quite a good hotel. Um, so yeah, we stayed in that, and it was for a whole week, so Monday through the Friday, and we basically done our dance classes in the Crescent Art Centre, and basically we just travelled up and back and forth from the hotel to the dance classes so it wasn't too much of a journey so it was easier for everyone just to go in a residential to do a dance um like a dance show pretty much like a wee small dance show um so i went a lot and i noticed obviously a lot of dancers are thin like they're quite thin now obviously there was more kind of ones on the bigger curvier side like, like there's all different shapes and sizes in the dance club but mainly most of the girls were quite slim smooth pretty just really really nice looking and um i felt self-conscious because back in the day I didn't really like how i looked and sometimes I still can struggle with appearance and stuff like that i'm not gonna lie but i'm not as bad as what i was back then so um yes so back then 
and it was single and I wanted a boyfriend. Like you do when you're a teenager, you want a boyfriend, you want to get settled down. You want, well, I don't know about sitting, getting settled down back then, but you do want to have a relationship. But you want to be with someone. And um, so there's a couple of nice looking guys in that dance class that I find attractive. And um, there was this one guy, well, he's in a wheelchair, no hate on that. He actually is really, really confident and yeah. But he was a really, really good looking guy. Like he had the dark hair, a bit of a beard, not too much of a beard, but a bit of one. And he just had like attractive features and yeah, because the dance class was for people who had disabilities who would dance in different ways. And um, I want to sit on his knee because he let all the other slim girls sit on his knee, but I never got a chance to. So I was raging. <laughs> this is actually so embarrassing I'm kind of backtracking a bit but I was raging because I didn't get to sit on his knee and I seen this girl I wanted to look like her she was like I would say 5'8 five 5'9 five well maybe more 5'8 really like tall for a girl size 6 slim she had bleach blonde hair my hair was an very dirty dull blonde with a few highlights in it I'll put a picture but obviously if I put a picture up I'm going to take or cover people's faces because I don't want to show anyone else's faces on YouTube when I don't have permission. So respect everyone's privacy. <laughs> so um yeah. Travis. I call him Travis because he looks like a Travis. That kind of dark hurt type guy. <laughs> hey, I don't want my life wise up your married up, but back in the day, I'm just taking you right back here. This woman's married here wouldn't go near anyone else. <laughs> Okay, I have ADHD by the way, so that's why I can get a bit crazy. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so basically, I call this girl who was like the tall, slim, bleached blonde, looked like a model type of girl that had these big eyes, and she had kind of full lips, like her bonnet was brown on top, but still had like nice, full, plump lips, really like beautiful. She looked kind of like, you know, the girl who played the stepmom in um the parent trap the newer version of it elaine what's her name her name's elaine but i'm trying to think of her surname but right i'll just look it up so i can find out her name elaine hendrix that's her name so this girl justine looked very very like elaine hendrix the same kind of face Back in the day when she was doing the porn trap, like the same kind of eyes and the same facial expressions, and I was so jealous because I wish I looked like her. So, um, yeah. So she got to sit on Travis's knee, and they were like really, really flirting, and I wanted to be like that. I wanted to be like loved and accepted because back then I had like, well, I didn't really have any like real boyfriends back then around that time. I had that kind of like, a fancy type of thing in school like we crushes which didn't really go anywhere and I kind of had um like my confidence knocked right down by a guy in school a couple of guys should I say in school but I don't hold any grudges anymore and <laughs> past that but back then I was really down on myself so yeah so basically and yeah I was jealous of that girl and I just wanted to get accepted so basically, I felt crap about myself because it didn't look like Justine. I didn't get to sit on Travis's knee. I felt fat and ugly. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm such a drama queen, so I am. So, and obviously, this was a hormonal teenage girl. So, um, what did Brooklyn do when she got to the Halloween party, which you haven't even spoke two words about in the first 10 minutes of this video? So I got to the Halloween party. I wasn't intending to get drunk or anything. I've had drunk in the past, but I hadn't got myself drunk. It was more tipsy. So I'm not controlling this behaviour anyway. Like, I never do this anymore. I'm a Christian now, but I do have a few drinks. There's nothing wrong with having a few drinks, but as long as you know your limits. But each your own, but you're better being safe than sorry. I don't like the out-of-control feeling of being drunk, so that's why I know my limits and kind of stick to the tipsy level and stuff. So, um, we just lay her there. So, basically, I wanted to have a few drinks and I just wanted to have a party. It was more of a kids' party, but there's a lo lot of adults there too. 
and teenagers and I got along well with my cousins because it was my cousin and her kids so basically my cousins because they were my aunties it was my auntie's daughter and her kids so yeah um yeah so we got on really really well so I was like you know what I haven't seen them in a wee while and I love going around to the house so I might as well go to a Halloween party now I had no costume I only had a pair of these punk I think they're like pumpkin headband like the two things stick a pumpkin headband with the wee pumpkin sitting at the top of it but I had no like a makeup only had lucky enough mascara probably didn't even think I had any foundation or anything on I was a hot mess because uh, back then I did wear makeup I did but um I forgot to bring makeup back to my granny's house and I was raging no Lower did have um fake tan on like they had this way cheap one from Poundland, the mix of moisturizer <laughs> that one um I had that on so I had some kind of color to my face so at least it wasn't like pale and pasty and bare faced and I think I had a bit of mascara on I'm not really sure I'm pretty sure I had something on the lip gloss too but that's all so basically I just wore my normal clothes and threw <laughs> pumpkin headband on and. I thought I was like great with the Halloween costume, but I wish I had a full piece of makeup on, that kind of vibe. So I went down, um, I can't remember if it was granny took me down or did um Tom pick me up. I think Tom might may have picked me up. So he did. And then so basically they had like wee games and all, um, they had like food, Halloween music things for the kids and stuff, and then we were having a good time. I had like best point only had a couple of WHDs. And you know, if you don't know what they are, if you're not from like the UK, but basically Alka Pops, like just lemonade with a bit of like vodka or gin, whatever in them. The WKD do have like this vodka in them, I'm pretty sure. The blue ones I was drinking that night. So that was not what got me drunk, though. It's just the thing I was starting out with. <laughs> but only tended to have like about three or four lemon, wasn't intending to get drunk. But yeah, so the night went well, well apart from that. The start of the night went well. I had fun like dancing with um my cousins and talking to because she had two wee girls and I was really close with them and they're all like girly and they're all into their makeup and stuff. So me and her were sitting on like I think it was Facebook and then her friends were over and then we're sitting on Facebook and doing something like that, just hanging out. And then the older kids went out trick or treating and then the younger ones went to bed. So my cousin Samantha, she was like drink time no she brought out she brought a big box you ever seen them big box or like a full of wine like about that size the last size and it's a wee tap attached to it and twisted to get the wine out me and her drunk that whole thing both of us so um i had one glass then me and her were sitting dancing away because we were just having a wee party she was dressed as Hina turner she had that blonde like blonde tip highlight wig on and she had her wee kind of glittery top what's love got to do with it like a wee um piece of paper saying that and taped on to her outfit and then she was all like get a girl get a girl <laughs> full on outfit sorry i met you there um <laughs> so full on outfit she was all prepped obviously she was a bit drunk because she's had drink before but she was like loving life and she was um with her outfit and all to turn her and just teaching me how to do the proud Mary dance because we had the best point we had about three or four glasses and we she was teaching how to do the proud Mary dance and it's like big wheels keep on turning proud Mary keep on burning and rolling rolling I was sitting doing that the whole night so basically being her we were dancing the last song I don't know how many times yeah and I was basically chatting away. I was probably telling her all the drama from the previous week. And then <laughs> I was <laughs> just all that and then just talking about random crap. And um so basically I started feeling myself get more woozier and woozier and woozier as drunk and drunk. Obviously if you drink too much and you're not used to it. And even if you are, you will get woozier. So I was like proper <laughs> by this point I had I don't know how many glasses I can't count can't um keep count because it was so long ago and also was drunk so I wasn't going to go one glass two glass three glass four glass I had five I had six I had seven but probably did have around I would say the box was about that big I would say it would be an 18 glass thing of wine so I think I had about nine or ten glasses of wine yeah I did so no wonder I was drunk 
And then um last thing that I remember is doing the Pride Bear dance again for the umpteenth time and I remember I couldn't hardly stand and my head was spinning and I was she had patios in her house so the patio doors into the garden. I was holding on them like that, like literally holding on and I blacked out. I literally just blacked out. So basically my granny had called me because I was meant to stay in her house that night and she said uh, she actually called me but then the phone didn't answer who didn't want to answer the phone to her because she were new this girl was drunk and she shouldn't have been drunk. So um she rang my cousin Samantha and um she, Samantha said, Look, Brooke's staying here, she wants to stay here. And normally if my granny said, Look, you're not come here with me, I'd be Laura, I said, Granny, I'm fine, I want to stay here, and she'd be like, All right, love. But then I was that drunk, I couldn't even protest and say, Granny, I want to stay in my cousin's house. Because I didn't want her to see me like that. Do you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, so I couldn't protest. So my granny was like, Tom, you bring her now, down now. You bring her down now to this house. Now, lucky enough, they lived not that far away from each other, like a few streets away. So Tom was like, right. And I was like, I just want to stay. I want to stay. I want to stay. I was like, grinning. And then Tom was like, look, your granny wants you around here now. I said, no, you're not letting me talk to her. I would have told her I wanted to stay. <laughs> and then, um... Tom was like, Brooke, you were too drunk, so she was such something, so you have to go around, it's, you're busted either way. So yeah, by this point, I knew it was going to get busted, but I was that drunk, I didn't care, I was basically, they like, cursing every, every person out, not people in the room, it was more people who were peeing me off, right, I was saying the biggest sort of crap, but we walked up home, like, from, from their house to my granny's house we walked up home and i was loud as anything it's by this point it was like two in the morning no actually no one and um it was one in the morning and um yeah so tom was walking me up and up the street there's a couple of streets uh my granny's house and this is actually embarrassing, but back then I kind of fancied him a bit of a crush on Michael Jackson. More back in his 80s era, but in the mind when he looked like in the 90s. Yeah, I did. I actually had a bit of a crush. Crush. Big crush. Shameful plug. Sh no, not shameful plug. What's it called again? Shameful secrets. Yeah, I did. So, um, <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. So, the do you know his video, You Rock My World? This girl, this beautiful girl called Kashia Dudley, or Kishia, whatever her name is, Kishia. Kishia, I always called her Kishia. But she had this green, like, olive green dress on. Really, really slim, smooth, even figure. figure tall, black hair, really tan, black skin, really almond eyes. And I was so jealous of her. I was like, I want to be dancing with Michael Jackson, not her. <laughs> pretty much so i was telling tom i want to beat her like literally fight her and all i was going i said to him i'm gonna knock her out i'm gonna knock her out i'm gonna mm. <laughs> do the actions and all <laughs> like a proper psycho i was going i'm gonna knock there you go and then on shows her take a cachet you rock it michael you rock it michael i actually was doing that so <laughs> like boxing her <laughs> basically a psycho boxing fin her <laughs> Tom was like, mm hmm, okay, uh huh, uh huh. Basically, when someone's like that, you don't really want to listen, but you're forced to listen until you get them home safely or whatever. Uh huh, mm hmm, mm hmm. Now I was telling them, like, just a load of crap. That's all I can remember, but the Michael Jackson thing, and also about, um, to say it, oh, I wish it was like Justine, it was like Justine would get a boy. Another thing why I like Travis is because he's in the in the Michael Jackson and he had a really good voice and I was like, mm, why is she up to help him? <laughs> even, even though half the girls in that dance club were on his knee. But I never got to go on his knee. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm just getting hyper here. So, um, yeah, so I got into Mugai's house and made it that 10 minute walk with me melting Tom's head. <laughs> so basically I then walk in I fell in through the door my granny opened the door I fell in and then she was like Tom she's drunk and Tom was like no she's not drunk my granny's like 
Tom just drunk what has she had and come to find out I actually drank vodka too so yeah smart move Brooklyn smart move not so basically um yeah so I fell in and then Tom was like oh, I have to go here she's all right just let just put her in the bed and give her water she'll be fine so um my granny basically said right you upstairs Go to your like get down get to your room because obviously I don't even remember my granny's house. Get your pajamas on and get in the bed now. She was raging, absolutely raging. She was like, You drunk? Wait until your parents find out. And um yes, yeah, so basically I went upstairs, but I was causing my racket because I was still in that headset, like see when I have too much drink on me and I've got I get angry, I'm psycho. I was like Slamming the wardrobe door like proper psycho. Actually, hated the way I got on like that. I was going, This week I stole my boy, just stole my life. Like a shit, don't lie. <laughs> no, no shit to her, love. If you're watching this, because she had to watch this, I was drunk and I was dumb and I was drunk, so no hate to you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and my guy was like, Brooklyn, get to bed now. So by this point, I'd got my jammers on, I hit my head. Now, I have a wooden side table there. It was similar type black, but only the edges were like more pointed out. It was more kind of like a uh, venti style one. And I fell and I hit my head off that and I did not feel a thing. Cleaned those were like a sack of potatoes. Didn't feel a thing. It was weird. But I felt on the next day. <laughs> but um, so I had my jammers on, but I was proper not going to bed i was like yo like that i just couldn't settle so i was ran down <laughs> go rest my guy's soul it was horrible oh her her anxiety must be up the left so um i fell down the stairs my granny was like this brick she caught my head or my head she had stone like proper hard cement stone like floors on her um hallway she caught my head this was a near fail could have actually slipped my head up when it was actually that point it was getting dangerous because i could have actually hurt myself seriously so that's why i wouldn't recommend getting blackout drunk at all because yeah so um ash did this a family member of mine came in and he was like what is what the beep is going on here and then um my granddad's like family member I don't know, they gave her a drink and then they were like, get her on up home. Get her on up home. So, my granny called another family, <laughs> my granny called another family member to get me because that other family member had to go to work. So, um, yeah. So, they weren't really, really happy with me, so they weren't. And, um, yeah, so by this point, it was like coming the two, the other family member arrived and they were fuming, proper fuming. Like, <laughs> they were like, Brooke, who gave you a drink? I, that girl's a manfa. I'm going to have a word of her. Give a new drink like that. You're coming up home now. You're coming up home with me now. Come on now. So I got in the car, proper still, like a cheaper. By this point, it was kind of in and out. It was like black and out. By that point, it wasn't so much black and out, but it was kind of doing too. It was like still very, very drunk, but like starting to... No, it wasn't so weird enough, but it was more like not black and out as much. So I got home and then um, basically I had to sleep downstairs because um, I was that drunk and I would have woke everyone else in the house. And <laughs> my poor brother had to look after me. Yeah. Sorry. And um, I was a complete psycho. Like, we had a music channel on down low. I sat and dancing to it, and you know, going, yeah, we're like that. Waking everyone up in the house. And then um, my brother wouldn't let me go upstairs because obviously it would have waked people in the house if I hadn't done it already. And I was like, I want to go to the toilet. I want to go to the toilet. And then, um, like, Go to bed and then I was like, 
Right, that's it. I'm going to go to the toilet here. So there's a wee yellow, I'll never forget this. There was a yellow um bucket with two hands. One and then we one didn't get like it's proper, like opaque. It's a big bucket you put clothes in. There was nothing in there. So I basically grabbed that bucket, sat on it, and done a pee in that bucket. Yep. Put it all out there for YouTube, but hey ho. A pee in the bucket. There. And then my brother's face. God help him. He was about to. <laughs> he was like, no. Like, he must have been so embarrassed. So basically, I was sitting dancing away after that, going, yo, again. And kind of people told me to get the bed now. <laughs> so um, I sat on the sofa and I woke up. I think it might have been, by this point, I didn't get to sleep until four because up all hours, proper bouncing. And um, I woke up, I would say, around 10, maybe 11. Oh my goodness. Now, this is so embarrassing. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I don't care, but, well, I'll do care shouldn't happen, but it's funny to look back on because I was an idiot. I shouldn't have got myself drunk. But I had pooed myself in my pyjama bottoms. Literally pooed myself. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, so embarrassing. So I was like, when I woke up, I was like, oh. <laughs> like, my head was proper sore, like, pounding. I had a proper big, massive headache right around my head. And um, I felt sick. I, like, I felt like a big ton of bricks. Like, I could hardly move. I felt sick. And I was sick. I think I was sick down the toilet and went to get a shower. No TMI. The whole video is about TMI, isn't it, love? So, um, yeah, I was sick. And... I went in the bath. I lay in that bath for like an hour. Literally like, oh. <laughs> in the bath. I felt like, <laughs> I felt miserable. I felt like a big bloated blob because obviously you drink blood shite. So I was like, in the bath. <laughs> no hate to anyone else, but I was, that's what I was like. And then, um, so, yeah. Long story short, I got grounded for it because obviously I was still living under my parents' roof, I got ground a flat and I got my laptop, my brand new laptop took it off me for a month so I couldn't play Sims or do anything like that. So basically a bore November was in the cards for me. And um yeah. Less well I didn't actually learn my lesson because unfortunately there's many times where I have got blackout drunk but I haven't got that bad in years well i think the time i got closer that was when it was an accident it was like last year but it was never like black i was more just getting to that point but it wasn't but um yeah so after all then times i learned my lesson and i know with me if i'm out of control i could be one of four ways i can ever be the happiest person your best friend i will love you i would be like what I am now, but times 10, like proper, hyper, happy, your best friend, the funnest person in the room. Or if, if I could, like this is one of the scary parts. If I was in a bad mood that week or that day, I could have went away when I was drinking and I got myself drunk. And one wee thing, one little thing, like say for instance, someone gave me a snarky comment or someone just really put me down in some way or like something, just a minor like, a bit more of a minor annoyance, I would snap and I would be like the angriest person ever. I would be like, ah, I'm gonna get you. How dare you say that to me? And ride a fight and just, sla <laughs> just slobber and swear and all that. And not a nice person, just argue, which I don't like confrontation. Like, but when I'm drunk and I'm in that mood, <sighs> yeah. And then there's another way. Sad, I can either be like it literally switched, like bad a flick of a switch, like with one wee small thing. It's more like if I was in a bad mood that week or that day, I'll turn into the sad and angry and stuff. But the sad one is really depressed, like proper mellow depressed. I'm like, I hate my life, I don't want it. Like all that kind of thing. I hate my life, my life's horrible. Oh, this happened to me in Facebook. Oh, this happened to me when I was first here. Oh, that way. Oh, I miss my like that kind of thing. Oh, I miss that friend I had when I was one. 
yeah, stuff like that, proper dramatic. <laughs> so I can go that way, and the one and this is the one that's one of the most probably dangerous, apart from the angry drunk, is the fry drunk. I'm not gonna say the other word I used for it because you no. Know. But um, yeah, the fry drunk pretty much is self-explanatory. No, I haven't been like that since I've been with my husband and I would never get like that because I don't get myself drunk anymore. But um, back in the day, I would be like, oh, like, oh you're my this. Like, I'd be all flirting and all like, oh, you're gorgeous. And like, around someone like <laughs> a dog and hate pretty much if I get on like people like that, like a dog and hate. That's where I'd be getting on like, oh, this guy's so I'm going to have him. I'm going to have him. Like that kind of way and just flirting and acting like a wee idiot. Pretty much so, um, and that and getting like fully drunk is dangerous because obviously, if you're in that situation and you don't really, you just don't really care, you don't really, you're not really like paying attention, you can get one thing that leads to another and then you can have a little regret that way. So, yeah, it's not worth it. So, yes, I hope you got some entertainment from that video. I know it's so embarrassing, I'm like, I don't want to put it up or not. But if you're watching this, I have put it up. And just know your limits, kids. And God bless. Bye.